Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I'm really excited about today's video. In today's video, we're going to share with you one of the new features of ChatGPT. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the GPTs. I create my own custom GPTs, and I've truly multiplied myself in life and in business, and I want you to be able to do the same. In the newest feature, you actually can give the GPT eyes, if you will. You can turn on access to your camera and interact in your live world with the GPT. And I want to plant some seeds in this video for you to see how you can start using it, whether you're an electrical contractor, a homeowner, or an inspector, to start serving you. GPT, what size breaker is this? That breaker is a 30 amp two pole breaker. It's usually used for larger appliances or equipment. Awesome. Based off this panel schedule and the location, what would you say that this breaker does? Based on the panel schedule next to it, it looks like that 30 amp breaker is for the dryer. It's important to confirm this based on your actual wiring setup. Hmm, I noticed something interesting here. Somebody, whoever did this panel schedule, mislabeled this or misspelled it. What do you think it's supposed to mean? It looks like they wrote spear here. It's likely meant to be spare for a spare breaker slot. Typos like that can happen. Awesome. What do you think refi means? Refry is probably short for refrigerator. It's common to abbreviate on panel schedules to save space. What does AH stand for? AH likely stands for air handler. It's typically part of an HVAC system, often sharing a circuit with the furnace or blower. Great. I'm going to make a material list here. See if you can keep up with me. I need one, two, three, 15 amp dual function breakers. I need one, two, three, four, five, 20 amp dual function breakers. I need a 20 amp GFCI only. I need a single pole 20 and a single pole 15 regular breaker. I need a two pole 30 and two two pole 35s and a two pole 40. Can you read that list back to me? Sure thing. Here's your material list. Three 15 amp dual function breakers, five 20 amp dual function breakers, one single pole 20 amp breaker with no protection, one single pole 15 amp breaker with no protection, one 20 amp GFCI only breaker, two two pole 35 amp breakers, one two pole 40 amp breaker, one two pole 30 amp breaker. Does that cover everything you need? That sounds really good. I'm going to need to know the torque spec for this breaker right here. What is the torque spec for this breaker? The torque spec for a Square D home line breaker is typically 25 pounds in for the terminal screws. Always double check your breaker's label or manual for the exact specification. I think it's 36. What do you think? You might be right. Some breakers do have a 36 pounds in torque spec. It's always best to confirm by checking the breaker label or manufacturer documentation to ensure accuracy. That's, that's great. Where can I find out that information on this breaker? Where is it printed at? You can usually find the torque specifications on the side of the breaker or sometimes on the breaker's packaging or documentation. It's important to double check the exact model for precise information. <coughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You're welcome. Have a great day and take care. Now, if I want to go grab my list, I just scroll back up here to the list. I'll push control, push copy, and I'm able to copy and paste that list to myself. One of my favorite things to do is have it search products for me. Can you search the internet and find the cheapest price for that entire list of products and then give me links to quickly go buy? Boom. I can go to Home Depot. Looks like Home Depot or Amazon has the best price. Click on the link. Open link. Boom, let's see if it takes me to the right link. 20 amp dual function breaker. I am the electrical code coach and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.